Google DeepMind, in collaboration with Yale University, has developed a 27 billion parameter foundation model called C2S Scale. This model is designed to understand the language of individual cells by converting complex single cell RNA sequencing profiles into cell sentences that large language models can interpret. The C2S Scale 27B model generated a novel hypothesis about cancer cell behavior which was subsequently confirmed through experimental validation in living cells. This represents a significant advancement where AI can generate original scientific hypotheses rather than just processing existing data. The AI model identified silmitasertib as a drug that enhances the immune response against tumours. Specifically, it predicted that silmitasertib, when combined with low-dose interferon, could significantly boost antigen presentation in cancer cells by almost 50%. This discovery offers a promising new pathway for cancer therapy by making cold tumours, those that typically evade immune detection, more visible and susceptible to the immune system. Laboratory experiments confirmed that combining silmitazotib with low-dose interferon increased antigen presentation by approximately 50% in human neuroendocrine cells, effectively heating up cold tumours. The C2S scale, 27B foundation model, is built on Google's open source Gemma framework, specifically utilising the Gemma 227B architecture. This highlights the use of large specialised AI systems for complex scientific datasets. This breakthrough demonstrates how advanced AI models can accelerate drug discovery by simulating thousands of drug cell interactions and identifying novel targets faster than traditional methods. It also holds potential for enabling personalised therapies based on individual genetic and cellular profiles. Google CEO Sundar Pichai hailed the C2S scale development as a major advance in the partnership between AI and laboratory science. He emphasised that AI can act as a digital scientist by generating testable hypotheses and validating them experimentally.